So there was a fascinating interview, uh, courtesy and credit to Mediaite.com, because I don't watch CNN, but uh, they highlighted it, between Vivek Ramaswamy and CNN's, I don't, she's a relatively new primetime host named Abby Phillips. And um, they got into it on a number of things. And I have to tell you, you know, when Vivek has said weird things, I've been critical of him. I've also been a big promoter of his on his books and so on for a long, long time. But this was gold. This was pure gold. I was 100% team Vivek here. He gave it to her and it was kind of a thing of beauty. So on two points, there was one answer that I didn't like as much. We can get to that. But I loved, loved, loved these first two exchanges. This, what she did to him so encapsulates what the media does but on both pr- fronts, okay? We're gonna start with the women thing. Nikki Haley weirdly went like pro-identity politics in her interview with the fellows from Ruthless. She started to do like the girl power thing. It was kind of weird. And Vivek called her out on it. But listen to how Abby Phillips, keep in mind as you hear this clip, she mentions what Vivek did, Nikki Haley does, at the debate when it came to Kristen Welker, the moderator, Ronna McDonald, the RNC chair, and then Nikki Haley. That's what he was attacked with. Watch the clip. Here's what your fellow Republican Nikki Haley said about you earlier today. Just listen. What happens? He comes out of the gate. He hits the female chair of the party. He hits the female anchor on the platform. And then he hits me. And I'm not saying anything. I ain't saying I'm just saying. But he might have a girl problem. I'm just saying he might have a girl problem. Okay, so she's laying out three different women that you've attacked. Um, Why is she wrong? Well, she also left off that list. Dick Cheney, Lindsey Graham, Karl Rove, John Bolton. The real issue is there's an old neocon wing of the Republican Party that I've been crystal clear critical of. Speak the truth and we have to be willing to hold failure accountable. I, I, That's Kristen Welker and her Mr. lies that she's told Mr. about the Trump-Russia uh, collusion. Uh, Mr. Ramaswamy, I'm, I'm going to stop you right there because so I stand by I, there's, no reason, uh, there's no reason to bring Kristen Welker into your dispute with Ron McDaniel. To- you literally paid tape of Nikki Haley talking about Kristen Welker. Well, so I'm responding I, to the I, tape that the you displayed that you, for your viewers. The question that you so were answering break and stop was misleading about- your viewers. Uh, good for him. She tried to sandbag him and he got her and she deserved it because that was bullshit. She tried to just play the Nikki Haley tape of he's got a girl problem because he went after, among others, Kristen Welker. And then when he tried to say, this is why I went after Kristen Welker, she tried to, oh, I will protect my fellow female anchor and shut this down. No, you put it out there. Give him the chance to answer it. It's such bullshit. And just because this Abby Phillips has like, a nice voice and like a pleasant demeanor doesn't make her any less pernicious. I was disgusted by what she tried to do to him and I was cheering his shutting down of it. What did you think of it, Carol? I'm not a Vivek fan. I find him to be a flip-flopper. I think he has a very shallow understanding of a lot of the issues and I don't really think he's a Republican. So the, it's funny, the your fellow Republican, Nikki Haley said, but I think he nailed her here. And I think that he was right going after Kristen Welker and going after Rona McDaniels. I think that they're just... Um, you know, those are actually really good targets. And he said the right thing about them. Um, the fact that the, the media continues to push Russia gate is unacceptable. I, and it's fine for him to comment on that. And the thing is, the Abby's comments um, on CNN here, it really hurts women like us. We can't be in the conversation and then also like, oh, I'm but a girl. You can't criticize me. Like, yeah, you right. can. And if we're going to sit at the big boys table, then we have to be able to take that, you know, pressure and comments and be able to handle ourselves in a positive way. You don't have to like Vivek to think that it's correct for him to criticize any of these people. They're on the public stage and they're absolutely fair game. I totally agree with you. They they were, even on Fox, the day after that debate, they were saying that he was a sexist because of his debate performance. I do not see that. I I just reject that fully. Women can be attacked, same as men. These are all three public figures who you know, Nikki Haley's running for president, Ronna McDaniel's RNC chair, and Kristen Welker is an NBC anchor of Meet the Press. All fair game, and every criticism he raised was not beyond the pale. I mean, the, the comment on the daughter, I get that that was, there's generally a rule you don't go after people's kids, but that's not sexist. No, she's a grown up. It's, it, no, yeah, no, I, I just say, but like, whatever, you can like it or not like it, but it, there's, I don't think it's sexist in any way. 
No. I, I, I thought it was sexist, actually. I don't think to mention that the he daughter? would have... Yeah, I, I don't think that he would have gone after a male candidate's parenting in the same way that he went after her parenting. And he said, you know, basically it was, it was, she, she was derelict in her role, role as a mother. I don't think that a male candidate would have had his kids behave, his adult child's behavior it was thrown Mike in his Pence, face in the same I way. I think he would have gone after Mike Pence in the same way. It's the moralizing that he was going against. Like, you don't like this, but your daughter does it. Like, it, mm -hmm. I, I just, it, I think it hits certain candidates better than others. And Nikki Haley or Mike Pence would have been perfect targets for that kind of attack. Well, the three inch heels was another thing that people thought was sexist, but honestly, yeah, like silly. he's trying, but I didn't think it was sexist. It was like, that's what she's wearing. She's wearing actually five inch yeah. heels. That's the yeah. only thing. He's he's basically just trying to say Dick Cheney in a dress. Would that have been sexist? No, he's trying to say like, you're Dick Cheney, except you look like this. I didn't, I, right. I have to no, say, that, I'm no, fine I'm calling out people's that. sexist behavior, but I did not see mm -hmm. it there. And I don't think Nikki Haley should be playing that card. It's, it's not, it doesn't make it okay just to say it in a cutesy, like he's, I'm just saying, he's got a girl, mm -hmm. like stick to the issues. I realize these two don't like each other, but just like don't, Republicans don't want to see those fights. I, they do not want to see yeah. those fights. All right. They do want to see fights with the media and with media that, that is just fine with the New York Times hiring a literal Hitler lover. Um, they're fine with that, but they do get upset when Trump uses the word vermin, Okay. <laughs> So that brings me to the next clip of Vivek and this anchor, watch. That language, they live like vermin. Do you believe that that is, as your uh, Republican colleague, Chris Christie has said, neo-Nazi rhetoric? This is a classic mainstream media move. Pick some individual phrase of Donald Trump, focus on literally that word without actually interrogating the substance of what's at issue. The word I was chosen for a reason. we are in the middle reason. of a cultural war in this country. The well, word you know was what? It, it, it's reason. actually describing a series of behaviors. You have Antifa and other related groups that have been burning down cities for the last three years in this country. Would you describe them Wildly as vermin? violating the rule of law. We have an invasion on our southern border. We have millions of people crossing our southern border. Let's talk about the substance okay. of why we have to recognize would, that we're not in ordinary you, times. Would you so use that language yourself? the vocabulary of the vermin or not is not what's important. Well, I haven't used that language. So, so you can look you? at my, my track record on the campaign trail. I talk about the issues. We all talk about them differently. But what I'm not going to do is play some game of focusing on some word that somebody else said without ignoring entirely the substance of what we're actually talking about. You know what's vermin? What's running around San Francisco on a given day before Gavin Newsom cleaned it up on a dime to roll out the red carpet for Xi Jinping? If he could do that for Xi Jinping, he could have done it on an ordinary day. Focus on the substance and let's have an actual policy debate rather than talking to a presidential candidate instead of the policy substance of what's actually going on in the country, picking on some word that Donald Trump said on a certain day and asking me for comment on it. Give me a break. Doing this low. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. She was yeah. so rude. She was an interrupter. What do you mean? Would you use it? Would you use it? Shut up. He didn't use it. This only becomes mm -hmm. an issue if he uses it. If Donald Trump's sitting there, go ahead and ask him about it till the cows come home. This he's not Trump. He's 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 kind of like Trump, but but he's not Trump. No one is Trump, but Trump. And would you use it? Would you use it? Would you? Would you? Like finally he gave her an answer. I haven't used that term, which is as good as you're going to get. But would you? What are you trying? Stop it. Stop. I loved how he handled that Bethany. Yeah, I did too. I mean, it, it's it's so frustrating for Americans because we see everything that's happening, the total breakdown of society and a CNN anchor, the desperate qu question she needs answering from an evasive politician is, would you use this word? The right. word does not matter, Abby. What matters is the Southern border. What happens is no one around the, the world is afraid of us anymore and everything is going up in flames. But yes, let's let's all focus on what's the real issue at hand, the use of the word vermin, which, by the way, like is not a crazy word to use in some circumstances. And it is bad to dehumanize people, but sometimes those people dehumanize themselves. Um, mm. But that's I mean, you're not you're not allowed to talk about those things anymore. Um, but I, I, this is this is why the trust in mainstream media is so, so far gone. Um, Carol alluded to it in the end of the last block. But, you know, when we found out that there were f photographers who were embedded with Hamas on the day of the attack, there wasn't as much shock and dismay as we should have had. And it's because our expectations for the media are 
maybe not low enough, and that's really saying something. Well, as autumn settles in, the Christmas decorations have already made their grand entrance. But before allowing the shopping stress to take over, take a moment to think about this. Many families are choosing to embrace experiences and family gifts instead of the frenzy of individual shopping. Now is the perfect time to order the ultimate family gift, a Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. A Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas combines the benefits of a hot tub with those of an exercise pool. Michael Phelps Swim Spas come in a variety of sizes to complement almost any yard, even if it's a small one. Installation can take less than a day, and since it's heated, you can use it year-round in any climate. Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas, the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. Order yours today. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK to save $1,000 on a Michael Phelps Swim Spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.